Welcome to this technical video, which aims to provide an overview of force control nodes. For the purpose of this video, a robotic adaptive gripper is mounted on a robot in order to showcase joint features. Force Copilot boasts a force control mode which can be used to apply force and torque values along and around axes. With a various user-defined settings available, operators can use a force torque sensor to apply force, torque, and thus follow irregular shapes and or surfaces for applications such as polishing, the burying, finishing, dispensing, etc. In order to add a force control node, tap the program button in the upper ribbon of the screen and tap the UR caps button in the left pane. Select force control. Tap the force control node in the robo program to edit it in the command window. Please note that UR force nodes and UR move nodes such as move L, move G, and move P cannot be executed as child of the robotic force control node. Where a UR move node would normally be used, the user shall record it robotic path or a multipoint path. Back to the command window, the first feature we will cover is the reference frame. From a drop-down menu, the user can select the reference frame from which the force and torque values will be applied. The tool reference frame uses the X, Y, and Z axis of the end effector to apply force and torque values in the appropriate direction. On the other hand, the base reference frame takes into consideration the X, Y, and Z axis of the robot arm base. The user interface of the force control node consists in four columns. The enable control column lets the user choose the axis on or around which the force and torque values will be applied. X, Y, and Z are related to the force values, while the RX, RY, and RZ boxes are related to the torque values. The force torque column is used to apply the actual force and torque values depending on which boxes were checked in the first column. The stiffness settings act directly on the embedded sensor's directional compliance depending on the orientation of the end effector and the axis selected in column 1. The deviation range limits the flexibility allowed along or around a corresponding axis. The force deviation range is measured in millimeters while the torque deviation range is measured in degrees. And there is the Enable Adaptive Stiffness box. By ticking the box, the force torque sensor evaluates the rigidity of the surface or object with which the end effector comes in contact. When entering into contact with a surface for the first time, the end effector will pull back for it as reached the force torque value entered by the user. Notice the difference enabling the adaptive stiffness. The robot will adapt to the surface and the bouncing effect will be minimized. This covers the force control features of Force Copilot. We hope you find this useful. Please refer to the upcoming video for more advanced force sensing functions.